Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Monster Hunter World Iceborne video Stylus Mustache here and today gonna show you guys the Guild Palace Switch X build So basically this build right here was designed to give you the highest DPS possible using the brand new Guild Palace Switch X So without further talking, let's jump straight into the build So for this build right here, we're gonna be using the Royal Titan X Which is a new rated 12 Switch X that you can craft using the new festive tickets So now let's take a look at its stats so, the Royal Titan X comes with a total attack of 945 with 30 hits of white sharpness, 15% affinity, 510 hit and water element, and one level 3 geo slot. It also has plus 30 defense bonus and the power file type. Now, for the augments for this build, we're gonna be using one defense increase one, which gives us plus 15 defense bonus, and one health regen one, which is going to be enough to keep her helpful. Now, for the armor pieces, we're using the Kaiser Crown Beta, the Rex Roar Mayo Beta. The Kaiser Van Braces Beta, the Kaiser Coil Beta, the Garuga Greaves Beta, and the Unscathed Charm Tree. Now, with all these pieces and skills together, we've managed to get a throw attack of 1159 with 10 hits of purple sharpness, 80% affinity for hitting weak spots, and 100% affinity for hitting wounded parts of the monster. So, now let me show you guys all the skills that we have together in this setup right here. So, here we have Master's Touch. Critical Eye level 6, Attack Boost level 4, Health Boost level 3, Critical Boost level 3, Weakness Exploit level 3, Power Prolonger level 3, Peak Performance level 3, Blast Attack level 2, Heat Guard level 1, Recovery Up level 1, Handicraft level 1, Latin Power level 1, and Non Elemental Boost level 1. So now let me show you guys all the decorations that we're using in this setup right here. So here we have one Elementless Jewel 2. 1 Expert Jewel plus 4, 1 Handicraft slash Vitality Jewel 4, 2 Attack Jewels 1, 2 Enhancer slash Vitality Jewels 4, 1 Tenderizer Jewel 2, 3 Critical Jewels 2, and 1 Enhancer slash Medicine Jewel 4. So that's pretty much it for the build guys, now I'm gonna show you guys a small demonstration here in the training area so you can actually see what I'm talking about here. So thank you for watching guys, and now check this out!
So that's pretty much it guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe for more Monster Hunter Iceborne videos like that. So thank you for watching guys and until the next episode, see you!